Today I'm going to talk about dealing with anger and give you some real hands-on, easy ways that you can deal with this that are very effective. The first thing is never take action out of anger. See, human mind wants to do that. Human mind wants to think up the next thing to say. It's going to tear the other down. Uh, it's it, always thinking up actions you can take to show them. It's wiser to wait until a new day containing a fresh and a calm attitude in you. Now, we all have times when we want to cut and run. However, it's wiser to go to God in prayer. Pray that God will speak through you and act through you, and God's ways are going to be loving. Sometimes you won't want to say and do what God is telling you to, but it is always the wise way. Pray that God will guide you on a correct action course to take. Too many people give up too easily and run away. Here's what we suggest at Positive Christianity. Write your grievance down and then Bible it. Put it in the pages of the Bible and close it and leave it there for at least 30 days. Allow God to work on it. Now, this action alone has no power other than it has a power in your mind that you have done something, that you're taking action on it. And in a very real way, God is taking action on that too. Pray. Pray that God will remove anger from you and return you to poise and peace because that is the ultimate that you want. In the end, it's not about the other person. You live inside here, and you have to bring back those feelings of joy and peace and poise. Pray for illumination and direction, and then act on your prayers. With God, you will use constructive, positive, ways that will bring about a poised and serene manner inside of you and the best possible outcome. You will know that God is working through you. You're not alone. And that God will give you the strength and the energy that will be constantly renewed. You'll be able to let go of anger You'll be able to focus again with positive perception that will help you to see things in the light of a brand new day. Anger binds you, and it blinds you. But prayer will give you back freedom, and it will give you sight. Now first, ask for God. God, calm me down. Second, ask God to make things right. God, I don't know how you will work this out, but I pray that you will make things right. Third, ask God to negotiate with you and those whom you feel are treating you unfairly. Often God will say things through you, will write things in your handwriting that are so much higher than you could have ever thought of. And fourth, after going to God, relax. Now next, I ask you not to burn bridges. So often we just want to burn the bridges behind us. Rebuild your bridges in God's love. Try as hard as you can during this time to live a harmless life that uplifts everyone around you. This does not mean being a doormat, but it is someone that is taking back the power themselves. They are not a constant victim of another's action. Now, you, of course, you stand up for yourself and what you believe in. But in so doing, you also stand up for others and what they believe in. 
you do not allow temporary irritations to become permanent mistakes. Come together, even in your differences, through the power of God's love.